All right, let's go through some of the organelles. We have a few of those. Organelles are little organs that are inside the cell. I often think of a cell as a little village, and inside the cell we have little things, little structures that do specific tasks. One structure will make protein, one structure will ship them and put them outside a cell, and other structure will make energy. So let's uh, go through them. The endoplasmic reticulum, also known as the ER, is a tubular structure that is composed of elementary membrane. That's the same membrane as the cell membrane is made up of. That's the phospholipid bilayer. And many organelles that have a membrane around them, that's the membrane they have around them. So uh, phospholipid bilayer is extremely useful material for ourselves, for our body, of course. The ER functions in the synthesis of proteins as well as lipids. Um, and also in the intracellular transport of them. That means if they need to be transported around in the cell or shipped to the outside of the cell, they will be transported in the cell within those tubular structures. We have two kinds. We have rough ER and smooth ER. The rough ER has little bumps on it, if we would be able to touch it. And they are studded with ribosomes. And ribosomes are the protein factors, which will come next. The smooth ER are not having ribosomes on it, so they're not suited for protein uh, synthesis, but they are suited for lipid production. When we look at the picture, here is a depiction of it. Uh, you see in the middle, the center, is the uh, nuclear envelope. The nucleus is inside of that, the nuclear envelope is just um, a cell membrane around the nucleus to protect it. Uh, we have nuclear pores and that's where um, material from the DNA, the copied material, which is RNA, can exit and then go right into um, ribosomes uh, and make protein. And the ribosomes here are on the ER and so the bluish grayish pieces are the ER. But let's talk about ribosomes. Those are protein factories. Let's look at this ribosome picture here. Um, the top left one shows us a fairly detailed depiction on the top. We have amino acids that come from within the cell. Uh, the yellow structures uh, bring amino acids to the ribosomes that will make the protein, which is a polypeptide chain. And on the other side of that yellow structure, which actually is a tRNA, we'll get to that later, uh, are three nucleotide uh, nucleotides and you see that it says on one side it says AAG it has one that says CAU or one that has UUU and, and those codes those three code for um, a piece of the RNA strand which is a copy of the DNA which is where the genes come from which is the cookbook for proteins so we'll get into that much more in detail, so don't worry if you didn't get that right now, but it is a very uh, interesting process. Then we get the next organelle, it's a Golgi apparatus. That is an internal channeling system that's very similar to the ER, and what that channeling system does, let's look at the picture for that, is, is quite interesting. Uh, it, it picks up substances that come, for example, from the ER, the Golgi apparatus does, and you can see that on the top right picture there, uh, the, the reddish structure is the Golgi apparatus and the pinkish structure is the ER, and the vesicle comes from the ER and moves into the Golgi, where it gets packaged up and alters and, and, and processed so it can then be shipped, and you see that on the other side, on the right side, where a vesicle, which is cell membrane, and in the inside are the substances, the proteins and so forth, that need to be brought to the outside of the cell. So the Golgi, uh, after packaging it, it puts its, it sequesters, it squeezes it out of itself, it pinches it off, and then that vesicle fuses with the cell membrane and lets the material go out. And what's nice about it, that the process, this process, the cell membrane itself can get renewed uh, because the vesicle becomes part of the cell membrane. 
So that's the Golgi apparatus. Then the next uh, set of organelles here, um, we have the lysosome. And lysosomes are spherical vesicles that contain digestive enzymes that help degrade ingested foreign material. Uh, they can also create autolysis, and that's self-destruction. When we look at the word lysosome, lys, L-Y-S, means destroying or killing or separating. Uh, and uh, some, S-O-M-E, means body. Uh, here's a picture of it. So that's basically a body with digestive things in it that can destroy or degrade uh, foreign material or self material. Very important structure for the cell. It's important to figure out what to get rid of and get rid of it. Um, but the next one is centrioles, and centrioles are, are hollow cylinders of microtubules, so just two structures that uh, are important as it comes to cell division, because what happens is they can be on each side of a cell that needs to be divided and pull genetic material towards their poles and therefore split the genetic material in two, which is very important after it's copied, uh, in order to split the cell, make sure and assure that all the genetic material is in each daughter cell. They look kind of funky. I like them a lot when it comes to artists' views and structure because they're very nice and symmetrical, uh, all those tubes. The picture on the left side where you see those rays, those green rays and those blue structures in the middle, the rays, uh, the centers of those, those those two rays on the edges is where the centrioles are. The blue structures are <clears throat> the chromosomes, copies of each other, uh, that then need to be pulled towards uh, the centrioles when the cell will divide. You, in the bottom middle picture, you can also see that there, those blue little things are the chromosomes that are pulled towards each pole of that cell. We will describe those phases as we get into mitosis. Next very cool organelle is the mitochondria, and that's the energy powerhouse which makes energy that will provide then fuel in the form of ATP to the work that needs to be done and requires energy. So that's our power plant. It's not nuclear, it's mitochondrial. Um, and we, we have, when we look at um, Here's the structure. When we look at the structure, we have two walls. We have sort of two membranes, a membrane within a membrane. And that helps us as we break down glucose in uh, biochemically what is known the Krebs cycle. That helps us bring, separate electrons from uh, substrates and products from the Krebs cycle. And then we can use those electrons by putting them into one of the membranes and separating them out. We can, can create a concentration gradient and open a door and let these electrons go really fast into uh, the outer space and power uh, ATP production that way. Very interesting process. So let's leave it at that for today and uh, we'll pick up the next few organelles or the nucleus actually is what comes up uh, in the next video. Please answer the questions that come with it.